Hey everyone, it's Allison here from mealfinds.com and today we are talking about crowd cow and we are going to unbox our steak and wagyu and I'm going to give you three ways to save on wagyu a crowd cow. So let's dig in. All right, so let's dig into our crowd cow box. And if you don't know anything about crowd cow, they are delivering high quality meat and seafood that is sustainably sourced from independent farmers directly to your door. So what does that mean? That means you're getting quality meat and seafood. That means you are getting transparency, something you won't get at the grocery store. You know exactly which farm your meat or seafood is coming from. You know it's sustainably sourced and you get a ton of great information about those independent farmers on Crowd Cow. And then finally, I love Crowd Cow for their selection. They have by far the largest selection of Wagyu I have ever seen online. So, all right, inner box. Hi, Allison. We're glad to have you back for more. Now is your chance to compare the Wagyu Angus Cross and Angus Cross beef. Try marinating the Denver steak in a mixture of olive oil, balsamic vinegar, garlic, and herbs before grilling. Uh, please check out crowdcow.com forward slash recipes. Thank you, Will. So this is great. Gives you a little preview of what's coming in our box. We definitely have steak and Wagyu in our box and super excited to give these Wagyu crosses a try. So we love that Crowd Cow uses this, uh, green cellophane you basically take this plastic off this foam inside you run it under hot water in your sink and it just dissolves it's totally safe and then this plastic you uh you can recycle if you're i go to my grocery store where they accept plastic bags all right now your crowd cow order, it comes on dry ice. That is at the very bottom. So just be careful when that arrives, but they say it will keep your meat and other items cool for up to two days. So let's see what's inside our box. All right, so we have three of these. These are the beef New York strip steak end cut. And this is from Broadleaf Farms, purest taste from the purest place raised on uh, family farms. 100% grass-fed beef, no added hormones ever, no antibiotics ever, 100% pasture raised. This is 12 ounces. And again, this is the end cut. So this is uh, what I learned, and this is from New Zealand. This is steak, this is not a Wagyu cross right there. Now I learned on Crowd Cow that end cuts uh, are slightly less expensive than the regular cuts because they're at the end. So when they are butchering the meat and they are cutting them down to very specific sizes, there'll be some left over that maybe doesn't match the size, the weight that they need. So they sell these at a discount. And that's gonna be my first tip when I go over how to save at Crowd Cow. All right, second thing we have in here is a Wagyu cross. Now, this is from Mishima Reserve. This is a Wagyu, American Wagyu, so we'll go over the difference, uh, Denver steak. And so this can be a little confusing. What they say on Crowd Cow, this is not, this is not 100% Japanese Wagyu. This was not raised in Japan, but what they're doing is it's from America and they have 100% Japanese heritage bulls and they mix them with uh, American cows. And the result is a meat that's more tender. You see it has more marbling. It has more marbling than the regular, uh, the regular beef. And 
So what you get is something that's better in quality and marbling than Prime. So choices at the bottom, that's kind of what you get at your grocery store. Maybe they have Prime. And then above it on the marbling scale, all the way at the top is the A5 and up Wagyu. Uh, and then in between that Prime and that top Wagyu, you'll have the Wagyu Cross. So this is not 100%, but it's more tender, has that marbling, and we're excited to taste it. So this is an American Wagyu. And then this, look at that. This is an Australian Wagyu cross. So it's from Jack's Creek Australian Wagyu beef New York strip steak end cut origin Australia and you'll see here compared to our American wow look at that marbling really really intense and again this is a cross so what they've done at Jack's Creek which Jack's Creek is the 2022 world steak challenge winner in all the categories it entered um, what they did was they bred Australian Wagyu and Black Angus and this is what you get so these again aren't 100% Japanese Wagyu but they're gonna give you a more tender Tender feel, they're very rich, melt in your mouth, really nice. Okay, and we ordered some other fun things because Crowd Cow does have some size. And so we ordered this Beecher's World's Best Mac and Cheese. Serves two to four, it's 20 ounces. Here's some of those nutrition facts. And your ingredients. I think we have cooking instructions. Yeah, we can just put it in the oven and bake for 30 to 40 minutes. Yum. And then finally, I'm really excited to try. Crowd Cow has a number of different uh, of these herb butters so we got some big ones which are let's see five ounces each and this is the roasted garlic basil and parsley butter perfect for our steaks and then they do have several different types they have a smoked sea salt that roasted garlic basil and parsley and a regular sea salt now these are one ounces so I figure we're having some friends over, everyone can get a little butter and that'll be super fun. Okay, so let me give you three tips for saving on Wagyu at Crow Cow. All right, tip number one for saving on Wagyu at Crow Cow. Now you'll notice that in our box, we had a couple steaks that were trimmings or end cuts and that was true for our New York strip steak and also true for our Australian uh, cross Wagyu. And so if you are looking to save on steak or Wagyu, uh, look for cuts that are marked trimmings or end cuts or ends. Crowd Cow says again that when the butchers are cutting down the steaks to a very specific size and they have some left over, those are the trimmings or the end cuts. And those are priced at a lower price point than the other precisely cut steaks. And so you get to save. So for example, on this New York strip steak, these trimmings were around $7 less per pound from the same farm, the same cut of meat, and they are the same quality. So that is a good, good deal. All right, moving on to tip number two. When you're shopping for Wagyu, now, first of all, what's so special about Wagyu? It is, it tastes amazing. Full bred Japanese Wagyu, is amazing it is the meat is tender it's rich it's buttery it melts in your mouth but it's expensive <laughs> and truly a special occasion type of type of meat 
birthdays, date nights at home, things like that, special occasions. And so my second tip is around the Wagyu cross. Now this isn't your full 100% Japanese Wagyu, uh, but it is a cross like our Australian cross and our American cross. And you could pay literally $150, $200 or more per pound for that Japanese Wagyu, the A5 Wagyu, the Olive Wagyu, uh, but with the cross, like this one from Australia, this one's around $84 a pound, which very expensive, um, compared to the almost $200 a pound for the same cut that is A5 Wagyu. So huge savings and uh, you, you don't need a lot of it. It's really something that is special and that's why we're supplementing. We're gonna have our New York strip steaks and we're gonna have some Wagyu and just as an extra special treat with friends. Okay, so Wagyu Cross will save you some money at Crowd Cow. Third tip for saving on Wagyu is on the Crowd Cow website, they have, and I have a link right down below, they have a weekly savings section. And in this section, they have meat and seafood on sale for up to 30% off the regular price. So you can go there weekly, check out the prices, and we've seen some amazing high quality Wagyu at up to 30% off. All right, so that is it for our Crowd Cow unboxing and three tips for saving on Wagyu at Crowd Cow. We have a full updated Crowd Cow review right down below along with that link to their weekly savings page so you can check it out. And if you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button down below. We truly appreciate it. And for more videos just like this, subscribe to our channel.